Hi guys, welcome to Green Fox Workshops online tutorials. I'm going to show you a range of different media and a step-by-step -step approach. Hope you guys enjoy! We are going to be looking at the common blackbird today. So this is a male. Uh, we know it's a male because um, they have the darker wings and the distinctive yellow outside edge for the eye. And the females are brown with um, spots and streaks on their breasts. So um, I just thought we'd work with the one that we most likely see. We do see the, the um, female blackbirds too, but um, often more than not, you probably will see um, this, the male. Um, again, you can see them throughout the whole year. Um, they are in hedgerows, hedges. You'll see them um, eating like worms, insects, obviously uh, fruit and so on when that is in season. Um, so yeah, that's a few facts about our common blackbird. Um, so I'm just going to draw in the eye and the outside edge. And then again, with the pencil. So I'm doing it in the pencil now, I'm just keeping it like that. And we want to get that shape of that beak coming across. And it's kind of coming across. It's getting that angle right. This is what I was um, saying to you. Like sometimes having that security of the pencil doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It just means that we can just get things kind of in a better position. Okay. And then the body, like this body is this kind of fat sort of oval shape. So let's just simplify the body and just do this kind of oval shape. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that line down to kind of meet this oval shape. And that kind of goes straight. You notice it's back straight along. And then that distinctive tail is coming up. Like so, and almost kind of a few bits there and then down at this kind of angle. And then his chin is curving slightly around that breast. And his back legs. So you can kind of see one in the front and one at the back and behind. So now I'm happy uh, with that shape. At the moment, he, he looks very much like um, an illustration, which is great. That's kind of what we want. But when we add the, especially his eye, um, when we add the details of the fine liner over the top, that will kind of really bring to life our illustration. in like so to start with. I'm going to bring his breast in a little bit more. So actually I'm going to make 
his eye a little bit smaller because that's getting too big too. That's a better size and then you've got the yellow rim around the outside of that. Okay. So that's all looking a little bit better. Got some lines here. There's some sort of feathers. Actually that all could go further along. Because when you start to look and it's those marker points, so you can see here, it all could do with going further along a little bit. Okay, so I'm now going to take my uh, fine liner and we're going to have some fun with this. So the idea is obviously we want the um, main bird as being black, but we want to show some tonal shading and properties like that. Sorry guys, my rubber fell on the floor and I can see that there's also the overhang. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. So I'm just going to very carefully make sure that I don't brush my hand now this time over on my um on my bird and I can just see I just want to get that slightly different maybe more like that Okay, so I'm going to start with the eye and draw. Now this one is 0.7, so actually that is quite um, that's quite big. You can have 0.3. You can have um, much smaller size fine liners. You could use a biro if you don't have a fine liner. We want to show sort of texture and fur so we're going to start off with it in this kind of effect where there are just little dashes coming down from the beak coming down this way and you can kind of see that and you've kind of got a lighter area there so we're going to build up on the areas where it shows us that it's darker and we build that up by keeping the uh, pen working over the same space so it looks slightly darker and I'm just going to do the edge there and bring that down and round as well and also I'm just going to draw around the outside of the beak just going to keep this process going around the outside of our birdie. Now also the other thing to say is that the um, obviously it is dark brown it's not just black so I'm just going to kind of carefully do some hatching so it shows that it's darker for the eye but not fully, okay? And then from, I've got the eye around that. You know, some um, pen artists, so ink artists, would actually use a difference um, in, uh, 
what's the word I want? Nib, sorry, thank you. <laughs> I'm saying, you guys are probably getting nib, jam and nib. Um, a difference in nib to the pen, because again, that will help you create that different effect with your bird. Let's just sketch out the outside edge. So we've got long feathers here, so we can do much lengthier wisps for the tail feathers. What I quite like about the pen and ink drawings is that you automatically get like quite a satisfied outcome, um, more so than necessarily the colouring pencil one because it just already looks good with the black outline. Um, there's something about that, maybe perhaps that kind of illustrative quality to it. Um, doing slightly longer ones here but you know, notice that I'm leaving some areas of the face white that just means that you've kind of got some of this the markings where it's a bit lighter and that kind of um, is shown and obviously underneath the belly it's quite dark holding my pen more on its side is creating more of this kind of um, sort of scratchy quality to it so just ex as well experiment with holding your pen in different ways because that will also have a different impact on the drawing too. slightly so I'm gonna just curve around darker on those toes so that you've just kind of got some shadowing and some emphasis on there. And I'm just going to define this outside edge. What's really nice about working with the ink is when it is coming out, it has got a little bit of freedom. Um, obviously the marks that you make, they are then permanent. So there's less chance to be able to rub it out. So you kind of have to work with what you've got. So I'm just gonna add some <clears throat> other lines. The closer the lines are, the darker <coughs> the image. The and you can see that the more I overlap um, my lines and layer them up, the darker. So I space the lines out, and you get more um, lightness over the top, much darker. quite sweet aren't they as little uh, these little drawings that we're doing they're, they're like little quick studies imagine if this little blackbird was out in your garden and you just want to capture the essence of that blackbird this is all we're doing we're just 
you know, quickly capturing what we can see. And which represents the idea of uh, British wildlife too. working and some of the feathers here just sticking out. I'm doing some cross hatching as well to kind of emphasize that there's slightly different, you know, different directions. It's not the feathers that's showing texture and differences with the work as well. Or the bird even. Let's get this a bit darker though, that little bit. Again, just take the pressure off as well. So just try some bits where, you know, you're taking the pressure off a little bit. There's not so, um, it's not so thick, um, the pen, pen worker, so to speak. I think when I use um, inks or you know pen and ink like this, it's probably the one time where I feel most relaxed with a medium because I kind of know that I it doesn't matter um, if I go wrong so much or I just take you know I just take pressure off myself. So, but having um, the outline in pencil, I think as me saying, don't worry about it. But I think if you get the, the loose sketch right then actually the detailing with the ink over the top is really nice and then obviously these feathers on him are just that little bit lighter so that's why we're just not adding loads and loads. I think there you have it. I'm just going to do a bit more on the tail. Um, but yeah, just a nice little quick sketch of a blackbird which would actually look lovely on a card or as a lino design. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed that process and I shall look forward to seeing how you guys get on. Thanks for watching, take care, bye.